Greetings. This is an earthquake watch for December 28th through to December 30. We are still receiving a significant amount of aftershocks in the Vanuatu region after the 7.3 earthquake that was recorded on December the 25th. And there was also a 6.2 aftershock, fairly large aftershock, uh, the day after. And what I'm fearing at the moment is that the solar activities at the moment are showing an indication that we may get a ramping up in seismic activity over the next few days. And the main reason why I believe this is the X-ray flux monitor is showing very little signs of life and it seems that the magnetic field is at a fairly weakened state at the moment. We're looking at the solar winds and this is the main concern for me. The main earthquake 7.3 in Vanuatu occurred when the solar winds were around about 300 odd and we can see the large jumps and from the large earthquakes. Now we got a 6.2 earthquake in the early morning of the 26th and it was around about here so we've already seen an earthquake at the bottom part of the solar winds at the top part of the solar winds and we're receiving an extensive amount of 5.0s and 5.5s in and around this region and what it tells me is that the significant danger that's heading our way could be when the solar winds actually drop further and it looks like that they are dropping right now okay I'll run through some imagery and we're looking at the 304 angstrom and we can see a definite scarring left on the solar corona and a large coronal hole now the it appears that the high solar winds may have prevented a larger event but now that the solar winds are calming down there is a, a great risk of a 7.5 earthquake during the next two days the 193 angstrom clearly shows a large coronal hole in this region but the area that I'm worried about is just this scarring region and it appears that the region is just here and it, it appears that we could be receiving a significant event in this region. I'll run through a few more images here and we get to see a little bit more clearly again and it is a significant hole. It doesn't appear that there's anything in the northern hemisphere. There are a few coronal features around about the equator and above regions but I don't see anything too large but this is the main area of the watch. Now I'm using some old images from Solar Monitor and this is a day or so old but I've got two holes that I'm looking at now and the second hole which would be probably at the end of the watch period it appears it's 36 degrees south latitude and that'll be clearly easily the map and we've got this other one and I'll be able to find this now and there are two regions that I'm concerned about and it's the region above New Zealand now we have had some um, volcanic activity in these volcanoes just above the top part of New Zealand and that is a concern and the second area so in other words this area would be Kermatic Islands and North Island of New Zealand and the two areas that are matched probably better would be in Chile and that'll be the Coquimbo and the Valparaiso areas so this is probably a little bit more um, of a better match than the Kermatic Islands in the top of New Zealand so I would say that um, you know you can almost toss a coin in both regions but there is a strong likelihood of a very large earthquake um, perhaps not too large around about seven um, in magnitude is quite possible the second coronal hole appears to be a little bit smaller and it is changing shape a considerable amount and I feel it's probably better matched to the if I can just get it right here southwest Indian Ridge which is just underneath the Madagascar region near South Africa so that'll be the second hole and it wouldn't be too large I'm thinking about a 5.5 to a 6 earthquake is possible in this region there's also an opportunity or a um, if I just roll this further there's also a potential um, underneath Australia also okay I'll go back to the solar monitor and there are some very large coronal holes very deep down in the southern hemisphere and we can see it's around about 60 to 2, 62 degrees um, south latitude and I've got a fair idea where this may be because we have received some foreshocks and the 193 angstrom shows a nice coronal hole, a nice shape of a coronal hole and the area that fits perfectly here is the Pacific Antarctic Ridge 
and that's underneath New Zealand deep down very close to Antarctica so that's my earthquake watch for the next few days I'm a little bit concerned about the solar winds dropping um, perhaps sometime during the 27th we may get some um, sporadic sort of 5.8 or something like that while it's heading down um, but if the solar winds continue to go down there is a potential um, 7.0 earthquake I would feel thanks for watching